Welcome to the Central Florida Gardening Show. Hi guys, my name is Jonathan Winfrey. I'm an organic garden specialist here at the Organic Sanctuary. We are a Central Florida seed grower. We organically grow and professionally inspect and sustainably harvest all our seeds right here at the Organic Sanctuary. This is one of our gardens next to the chicken coop. We grow a lot of different plants to directly feed the chickens with. We have some amaranth right here. Sunflowers. These are gray mammoth striped sunflowers and what happens is they'll bloom real pretty and then they will get pollinated and they'll start developing the seeds and these are the sunflower seeds that once they're fully developed you will um, take them Donnie avocado out. tree. It is known for its cold What's this heart. right here? This is a sugarloaf pineapple, and what it does is it will um, shoot out all these new uh, shoots, and each one of these has the potential of becoming a pineapple. This is actually a millet right here, and this was something that just sprouted up from some seeds that were just dropped. We didn't intentionally plant this, but the chickens love this, so as you can see, like I'll take some of these, and then I'll just throw them right here and the chickens will just eat them, you know, they love the millet seeds. So anything like that, that we can just get, so we don't have to buy for the chicken feed, you know, what we love to grow. And, you know, I'll throw some more of it, you know, and they'll just, it's good for them too, you know. A lot, it's better than corn. We're in the organic sanctuary greenhouse right now. This is where we sprout a lot of seeds, and this is where we start to grow a lot of our different plants and pots. We have everything from okra to fig trees, tomatoes, cucumbers, different squashes, medicinal plants, spice plants, mints, tropical trees, and I mean garlics, peppers, a little bit of everything. And everything's heirloom and everything is in organic soil. And a lot of this is our seeds that, as well, that we're growing. So some of these plants will eventually end up producing the seeds that we package for our customers as well. And, uh, you know, we do a lot of work in here. I'm just going to tie this tomato up. I noticed this tomato over here has fallen down. This is a purple Cherokee tomato heirloom tomato, indeterminate variety, and these indeterminate tomatoes will keep growing as, pretty much as big as you let them get. After we grow the seeds and, and sprout the seeds in these, uh, and a lot of these we just seeded today um, over in this area, I, I, we potted some sprouts up into this size pot, and then we'll let these grow, and then we'll take them out into the permaculture garden to um, grow the rest of their lives and seed and fruit out there. So this is Sushni right here. This is one of the three main plants used in Chinese ancient medicine and they say that this is very good for cognitive function. So every time I come out I'll, I'll come take a little you know clover make sure it's clean and you try it? I am eat it and maybe we get a little bit smarter you know. That's right. Okay. You can take like uh, when like this when they t you can take like pieces like like this, you know, and you already see there's some roots right here. And then just pot that up or, you know, put it in your little pond or aquarium and you'll have it growing. Can I take one? Absolutely. There you go. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Heck yeah. Look at that. Woohoo. What are these right here, man? All right, right here we're looking at ashwagandha. And this is known as a medicinal plant. They grow a lot of it in India. It actually grows as a ditch weed over there. But it is used from everything to minor health ailments to, you know, more severe um, colds and flus. And yeah, it's, it's a, a very popular medicinal plant. Hi, I'm Natalie. This is our worm bin. So the reason that we have this worm bin is for two reasons, actually. One is to make a really rich 
composted soil to use out in our garden and also in our pots. And also, it's to cultivate some of our worms so that we can put those out in our garden as well. Worms are great. They help compost lots of dead materials into um, usable nutrients for our plants. And they also help to aerate the soil, which is really important for organic gardening. So what we do is we'll add some um, pre-composted soil. And then as we are doing our gardening, we'll take old scrap pieces of plants and other um, gardening materials and we'll put them in here. And over time, the worms will actually eat all of um, this up and we'll get what they call worm castings in the end. And this is the stuff that we really like to use. This is basically worm poop, but it's the best stuff for our garden. And then we'll put a little bit of newspaper on the top. Eventually they'll eat this too, but it helps to keep the moisture in there that the worms really like. And then when we water it in the bottom, we get what's called worm tea. And organic gardeners love worm tea because it's very nutritious. Um, it helps with a lot of different insect pests that we have out in the farm. And it's a wonderful, wonderful fertilizer that's very easy to produce and very easy to put on the plants. This is Organic Sanctuary Permaculture Garden. This is where we do most of our seed harvesting. And we have everything from okra, to Okinawan spinach. This is a very great spinach to eat fresh. And if you just walk with me, I'll point out some plants. Mammoth basil, got some mammoth basil right here. We do a lot of native plants around with our edibles to attract a lot of pollinators. This is a native beach sunflower, dinosaur kale. This is a pigeon pea plant very popular plant uh, that we sell seeds for on our website. This is an upland cotton plant. As you can see, this is some cotton right here. This is when, you know, this is when you pick it. And this is just the white cotton and you see the seeds of it, but, you know, great product right here. This is uh, the Greek pepperoncinis. And this is a really awesome pepper plant, very delicious, mild peppers, very uh, great, heavy producers, as you can see. I mean, you know, one plant just has, you know, you can get uh, dozens of peppers at a time. This is a Rosa Bianca eggplant. This is another seed variety that we sell on our website. Um, very delicious. Um, this is about the time you want to pick it right here. This is sugar cane. This grows well here in Central Florida. This is purple cow pea. As you can see, these are some young peas right here. Um, developing, uh, the deer really like these though. So they like to come out here and snack on the purple cow peas too. As you can see, this is the moon and stars watermelon. And this is a great watermelon. And to see if it's ripe, you wanna knock it. And if it sounds hollow, and if it looks like it's starting to yellow underneath, then those are two good signs that it's ready to pick. So that one's about ready to pick right there. We have some basil over here. We're actually letting this seed right here. This is an heirloom lime basil. And these leaves, you can eat them, and they, they're, they're very delicious, and they have a nice lime flavor. And when you, you know, you just let them uh, seed, and these are these will these will be the potential seeds when they develop and dry out. We have some Japonica corn right here, a little corn fly. This is Malabar spinach. This is a great edible plant to eat. Um, it, it's better when you cook it a little bit or if you steam it. And it's also very beautiful. It has these uh, wonderful flowers all over it. This is sun hemp. This is a nitrogen fixing cover crop. Here's some more purple cow peas over here. These are some nicer ones. And this is a very hardy plant to grow. Um, uh, drought tolerant. Um, you don't really ever have to water it, and you can open it up, and there's the there's the peas right there inside, and you can just you can soak those and eat them. Here we have some marigolds, African cracker jack marigolds. 
this is a really good plant to grow around in different places of your garden because it deters a lot of garden pests so as well as basil as well so they're both really good to uh, deter different pests and Trey looking at our 22 panel solar photovoltaic system and that system produces clean electricity that powers about half of our entire farm here and it produces all of our seed saving um, electricity for our lights and for our um, seed saving our seed bank is totally run off the renewable energy and that's just a sustainable initiative so we can provide the most sustainable seeds for you guys in the future and those panels are actually made in the United States as well and what happens is the sunlight the electron the photons from the Sun they hit the panels and then it gets converted into direct current uh, electricity and it goes into the inverter box under there and then it, th that changed it to alternating current electricity it then travels underground to the meter box and during the day it will actually spin our electrical meter backwards so it's a 5 kilowatt system produces around 25 to 30 kilowatts of electricity every single day